What's up everyone, welcome back to another episode of AWS Tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to build an application for uploading files to AWS S3 and this tutorial is going to be very similar to the previous one that I had where I use API Gateway and the Lambda function to do the file processing and upload that to S3 but I think that application only works for text files it doesn't work for binary files like JPEG image or PNG image so for today's tutorial I'm going to make it work for both text files and images so it's basically a super version of that. And on top of this, in this tutorial, we're not going to need to use a Lambda function in the middle to do the file processing. So that simplifies the process a lot. We're just going to use API Gateway to upload a file to, to the S2 bucket directly. So that's very efficient. And for today's tutorial, I basically just took the instruction from the AWS website directly, which is this one. Um, it has all the steps that you need uh, to build this application. Uh, it's pretty simple, um, so if you prefer reading articles, you can follow this. But if you prefer video tutorials, you can stay with me and follow along so that we can build this together. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so right now I am on the homepage of the AWS console. So step one is obviously the, to create an S3 bucket to host our images and text files. So I'm going to type in S3. And then we're going to create a new bucket for this tutorial. So create a new bucket, give it a name. That looks good to me. I'm going to choose US East 1. Um, you can choose whatever your regions you are in, um, but that has to be consistent with the API gateway that you're going to configure later on. Um, I'll remind you again when we get to it. I'm going to leave it as US East 1 because I am in the East Coast. And then bucket versioning enable. Encryption enable as well, and then create buckets. Okay, so that is being created successfully. And step number two is to create an IAM role for the API gateway to use so that it has permission to upload the files to S3. Um, so I'm going to type in IAM, open that into a new tab. All right, hit rows, create a new row. And then we're going to choose API Gateway, which is the first one. You can search it if it doesn't show up. Check that, hit next. Um, so by default, it only attaches the CloudWatch lock permission or policy to it. Uh, we're going to hit next, but then we're going to add the S3 permission later on. Um, give it a name. I'm going to call it API Gateway S3 row but you can give it whatever name you want it to be hit create okay so that is done and that is the one that we just created uh, so let's attach a new policy to it add permission attach policy uh, we're going to create a policy choose a service um, so we're going to type in s3 and for action, uh, we need to upload files to the S3 bucket. Uh, so we need to give it put object permission. Put object, check that. And then resources, uh, we're gonna specify the ARN of the AWS S3 bucket uh, so that we only allow that to the specific bucket um, because for security reasons, it's good practice. So I'm going to go back to S3, copy this bucket name. Um, and then within the bucket, I allow that to put in any folder within the bucket. Hit add. And then hit next. Review. Give it a name. Um, let me just call it S3 put object policy but you can give it a more descriptive name if you want to but this is just an example uh, create policy okay so that is created successfully so now let's go back to the row um, search that policy which is created now let me hit refresh 
Okay, it's that one. Get the attached policy. Okay, so now we have the policy that we just created attached to the IAM row. Uh, so we are ready to use it to create the API gateway. So let me type in API gateway. All right, so on the home page of the AWS Gateway, you have the option, you actually have four options to create, to choose what type of API you want to create. Um, and for today's tutorial, we're gonna use REST API. Um, so the third one, so hit build. Hit okay. And obviously we're gonna create a new one. Um, let's just call it, give it a name, the API name. Um, let me just call it API actually file upload API that looks good to me um, keep it as regional create the API okay so the next step is to create some resources uh, so I'm gonna hit action create a resource and then the first one we're gonna call it bucket and for the resource path uh, we're gonna add a curly braces to it because that's how we can reference the uh, the path parameter. Hit create. And then next, we're gonna create another one. Uh, you have to click on the bucket to create that. Um, so we're gonna call the next one to be file name. And because when you upload your file, it's gonna go into the bucket and then the file name that you wanna name your file to be. And the same thing, we're gonna add the curly braces to it. Hit next. And then next, we're gonna create a method uh, within the resources. And then we're gonna choose puts. Hit the check mark. Yeah, one thing I wanna mention here is, I think it has to be put according to the, uh, the website that I follow. I try to use post to do it uh, because it makes more sense to me, um, but I don't think it worked for me. Um, maybe later they change it, but for now, I think we have to choose puts. Just want to mention that just so that you don't have to uh, go through all the troubles that I went through. Um, and then uh, remember before we chose lambda function for the integration, uh, but right now we're gonna choose a the S3 bucket directly. Uh, so we're gonna choose AWS service. And then, okay, so this is very important. Um, so we have to choose a region that is the same as the one that our S, S3 bucket is resigned in. Um, for us, it's US is one, uh, for you, if you chose a different region in for the S3 bucket when you created it, uh, this one has to be the same as that one, otherwise you're gonna get an error. So I'm gonna choose US is one, and then um, we're gonna choose S3, and then leave that as blank, and then for the method here, we're gonna choose put, and then use the path overwrite, and then this is how we uh, name it. The first one is bucket. We get it from the parameter and then file name. I think that's what we name it previously. Um, and then for the execution row, that is the, the row, the, IAM, the IAM row that we created earlier. Um, so we're gonna copy the arm from that. So here, we're gonna paste it here. Uh, we're gonna leave it as pass through and then default timeout then hit save. Okay, we're almost done. Um, step, the next one, the next step we're gonna do is to integrate request. So we're gonna click here. And then we're gonna configure the path parameters uh, manually. We're gonna add path. The first one is the bucket, like where we're gonna get that parameter from, from the path parameters. So we're gonna do method request the path, and then the, the bucket parameter in, in the path. Um, hit the check mark. And then we're gonna add another one called file name. And then it's the same thing instead of bucket, we're gonna do file name. Okay, so that is done. And we are ready to move on to the next step, which is the setting. And that's where we specify uh, what type of binary media types that we are allowing the, um, 
the API to upload. Um, for us, we wanted to be able to upload images. So JPEG and PNG, I think those are the, uh, the most common file types for images. So we're going to allow those. So image slash JPEG, add another one, image PNG. If you want to allow everything, um, you can just do like uh, asterisk sign and then slash and asterisk sign, but I don't think we want to allow everything. Um, so you can choose whatever you want uh, depending on your application. But for this tutorial, we are only allowing that like media, binary media types to be a JPEG image or PNG image. Um, you can probably configure that for PDF or other, other types of uh, things as well. But I'm going to leave that for you to explore. So hit save. Did it save? Okay, maybe it did. Okay, and one last step that we have to do uh, before we can test it out is to deploy that into our stages. Um, so we're going to go back to resources, um, hit action, deploy API. Uh, since we don't have any stages yet, uh, so we're going to do dev, let's say, and then hit deploy. And that is the URL that it creates for us, uh, for us to hit the endpoint uh, for, for, for uploading. I think it's going to take like one minute uh, for that to take into effect. So I'm going to pause the video and then come back in one minute. Okay, so it has been a minute. So I think it's probably done. So let's test it out. So I'm going to copy this URL here, which is our endpoint. And then I'm going to open Postman uh, for testing. So I'm going to paste it here. And then remember we said it's going to be a put method. Um, and then remember we configured resources to be uh, slash bucket and then file name. Um, so for the bucket, this is our bucket name. So I'm going to do slash bucket name and then file name. Uh, so this is the file name that you want it to, to be called once it's uploaded to the S3 bucket. It doesn't have to be the same as the local file name that you have in your computer. Um, so I can call it like file A or something. Um, let's do a text file first. So before this tutorial, I prepared three files that that we're going to use to test it out. Um, the first one is a text file, just something uh, random text here. And then file two is a JPEG file. Um, they're just like JPEG file, very creative. Um, and then the third one is PNG file um, or image, which is uh, just says PNG um, file here. Um, but you can upload like any images here if you want to. Um, but one thing I have to mention is I think the limit for API gateway is 100 megabytes. Uh, so the image size has to be less than that. Anything that's above, I don't think it supports um, in the current infrastructure. Um, so let's test it out. Um, so uh, we're going to call it. So we're going to upload the text file first. You see that we name it file1.txt file in my local machine. Um, but I'm going to call it file A once it's uploaded to the S3 bucket, um, so that's pretty flexible. So I'm going to hit body and then hit binary, select the file, um, which is that. Hit open, hit send. Hmm, endpoint not found. What happened? Let's see. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know what happened before. Uh, it may, maybe it just takes a while to uh, process and stuff. But the second time I try, it works. So it returns number one, which so means it's successful. Um, and right now, let's go back to the AWS console um, and go back to the S3. So it was empty. If I hit refresh, you see the text file here. Yep, it's there. And let's Go back and then uh, upload. Oops, upload file B, which is a JPEG. It sent. Okay, successful. 
and then hit file C. Let's upload the PNG file. Okay, they're all successful. And now let's go back, hit refresh. I should be able to see three of them. And let's download them and take a look and make sure that the content is right. Okay, text file looks good. It's the same as the one that we saw before. JPEG, yep, it still says JPEG file as an image. And then uh, the PNG file is still working as well. Yep, so it seems like it's working fine, the API. Um, and the infrastructure is very simple. But if you have any ideas on how to expand the application, you can comment down below. And if there's enough inches, I can create a separate video for that. But this is it for today's tutorial. Um, I hope you have learned something. And if you like this video, I hope you can give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next video.